In 2012, Rob and Melanie Walton made a bold investment in Arizona State University. Their charge? Apply ASU's deep knowledge to global action and create a better world for all of us. And that's what we did. We got to work educating, engaging, and empowering innovators, business leaders, scientists, museum directors, teachers, students, parents, each able to use what they learned to enact real, actionable change locally and globally. In six years, we have built a critical mass of more than 500,000 people around the world who have been inspired by our sustainability solutions, integrated them into their own programs while informing millions more, each and every one of them, creating a better world for us all. The City of Phoenix, we have an initiative called Reimagine Phoenix, which is our goal to achieve a 40% diversion rate from the landfill by the year 2020. Because of our partnership with ASU and Walton Initiatives, we've been actually able to create the Risen Technology Solutions Incubator. We are recruiting innovators nationwide, and basically they're coming up with ideas and solutions on how to repurpose our waste. And we're helping them to develop their ideas and to bring them to market. It's been a model for other cities and universities to strive for. We are making a difference for our community and changing the economy, so it's very exciting. Less than 10% of plastic waste is recycled. It's estimated that by 2050, there'll be more plastic than fish in the oceans. Renewology is trying to solve that problem, chemically recycling plastics. Renewology has been part of Risen Incubator since it started. A it really sort of aligns with our mission as a company and innovating within the circular economy. And B, we really saw Phoenix as a great place to set up a facility. We were awarded a grant from Arizona Commerce Authority. It just wouldn't have been possible with, without the support of Risen. For many decades, St. Vincent de Paul has been feeding, housing, and healing and clothing the community. And several years ago, we had some empty parking lots, and we wanted to turn them into urban farms. And ever since the Walton Foundation and ASU has come in, we've been able to ramp that up so tremendously. We've been able to produce thousands and thousands of pounds of fresh, nutrient-rich produce. We now have three farms. ASU is helping us write a guide to social impact through urban farming. And we hope that this can be replicated in many different communities. Sustainability education is crucial ASU and the Walton Teachers Academy gives schools the tools to train our students to become much more productive problem solvers, much better citizens. We started by sending three people, and then they came and trained 40 people. Those 40 people went back to their schools and trained their faculty. And so there's a kind of a ripple effect. It has made an enormous difference in the curriculum that we currently have for our students and also in faculty's openness to the concepts of sustainability. NRG was fortunate to be able to partner with ASU's Walton Sustainability Solutions Group in leveraging work that they had previously done with Starbucks in developing a sustainability course for our employees. We need committed change agents to be successful at scale. I also get a lot of value out of my engagement with the Walton Sustainability Solutions Group that I can take back into my practice. It's important for leaders to pave the way for others so that sustainability is not something we fear, but something we crave. Sustainability is part of our values for Cummins. We have a big footprint and we can actually make a big difference if we do this right. What I really appreciate about Walton Initiatives and the EMSL program is really focusing on the sustainability leaders and building the capability of our profession. So having a program that was actually designed just for me became something that was really important to me. 
After the program, we began changing our sustainability lens, really deepening it. It was the perfect program that allowed us to really connect the big emerging ideas and give them a voice and catalyst at our company. My work with ASU through the EMSL program led me to my capstone project, which was focused on targeting zero waste at the Georgia Dome, really helped us identify what types of materials were coming into the building and what types of materials were leaving the building. So now I'm able to translate what we learned at the Georgia Dome into Mercedes-Benz Stadium. We're now working towards a goal of becoming zero waste by Super Bowl 53. At the California Academy of Sciences, we have about 1.3 million people come through our door every year. And that's a really powerful place to start these conversations about sustainability. One of the things that the Walton Sustainability Initiatives at ASU really enabled for us was the sustainable kits. The absolute most impactful part has been the network and the collaboration with people from around the world who are all working on similar challenges in their spaces, but also approaching the challenges in different ways and finding really unique solutions so that we can help people and the planet thrive together. The global studies within the Walton Initiatives really give students a chance to go abroad and see in first-person context the sustainability problems we're trying to solve. What I didn't really expect was the level of engagement that I would be involved in, being able to help research in terms of the policy that's going on with their transportation systems and energy systems, and so being able to kind of delve into this more intellectual version, per se, of sustainability and analyzing the impacts of those policies on their society was definitely really impactful to me and, and hopefully to them. Nepal is rich in water resources, but that doesn't mean that water is available where it is needed. The Walton Sustainability Solutions Initiative has done this remarkable job of creating a platform as well as an opportunity between university and what is really applied and what is needed out there. One of the projects in Nepal that we have been implementing is solar-powered lift irrigation. The students get to see and touch the dirt and do the stuff and interact with farmers. And that has a huge learning that can last for a lifetime. Lebanon and Jordan are both countries that have a history of facing water challenges and also both countries that have a history of dealing with the challenges of refugees. We needed a treatment system to be able to make otherwise unusable groundwater resources available to increase the water supply. To have sustainable and reliable water, you also need sustainable and reliable energy. The Arizona State University has engaged in a partnership supported by USAID. Without the input, without the assistance, the capacity, imagination, and leadership of Walton Initiatives, this project wouldn't have been possible. There is still work in front of us. There are challenges to be met. As we continue to collaborate, develop strong partnerships, and stay nimble with a creative vision for tomorrow, we'll continue to make the lasting global impacts that this mission has made possible. Sustainability doesn't have a finish line, but there's no institution that's better equipped to drive us toward a better future.